good. Uh, I'm Officer Galetti with the Cottonwood Heights Police Department, and I'm uh, very pleased to have an opportunity to share some success stories about how uh, Neighborhood Watch, the eyes and ears of the Cottonwood Heights Police Department, can be so effective in helping uh, police officers to fight local crime. Uh, we have several uh, instances where uh, citizens have uh, made that call at the right time to let us know what was uh, going on in their neighborhood. And as a result, we've been able to capture criminals and make appropriate arrests. Uh, one example uh, occurred uh, uh, on a early on a Sunday morning uh, in one of our uh, neighborhoods. Uh, a, a woman got up uh, to, to check to be sure that the house was secure and that the fireplace had been properly turned off the night before, and she saw someone in her driveway. Uh, she looked out at the window and saw that another person was looking in mailboxes and cars. Uh, she made the call, she made the 911 call, and our officers were able to uh, arrive quickly and uh, uh, noticed uh, some sus suspicious activity in the area. And uh, consequently, uh, three arrests were made for people who were uh, doing vehicle burglaries, residential burglaries, and uh, thefts out of uh, mailboxes. Uh, so we're quite excited about that. Uh, another situation uh, just a month later occurred in another Cottonwood Heights neighborhood. Uh, broad daylight, uh, the, the folks went to work. And while they were at work, someone entered their home. During this time, uh, neighbors noticed a car in the neighborhood that didn't belong there. And they actually had the presence of mind to get the license plate. Later, as we were investigating the residential burglary, we uh, canvassed the neighborhood, talked to neighbors, and they were able to say, oh, yes, yes, we saw uh, a red car uh, middle of the morning in front of their home, but we knew they were at work. And so we jotted down that license plate. And uh, on follow-up, we found that the registered owner of that very car had pawned some of the items that had been stolen from that home. Uh, on follow-up, we located the individual, uh, asked a few questions, and they confessed to the crime. Uh, so this happens uh, frequently. Uh, quite often when we have a success capturing uh, criminals is because uh, our friends, our neighbors, Neighborhood Watch has been our eyes and ears and has uh, made the call at the appropriate time. Uh, why don't I tell one more quick story? And uh, we had uh, about 12 o'clock, uh, well, just about midnight, uh, again on a weeknight, uh, someone was working late in their office. This is up near the Canyon Inn. Uh, Fort Union uh, near Wasatch. Uh, they were uh, at the office complex nearby working very late at night and saw suspicious activity. Someone was out in the parking lot looking into cars using a cell phone as a flashlight. They called. Uh, we were able to respond quickly and made two arrests for vehicle burglaries. We found several cars with broken windows where they had uh, stolen purses and, and cell phones and uh, uh, so it's just a matter of having uh, neighbors willing to pick up the phone and make that call uh, so that we can respond. Now, some people are hesitant, well, should I call the police or not? And I just want to encourage everyone, make the call. Uh, we can check it out. That's what we're paid to do. And uh, those are the tips that we need in order to get our job done. So be the eyes and ears of Cottonwood Heights Police Department. If you see something suspicious going on in your neighborhood, whether it's daytime or nighttime, give us a call. Let us check it out, and let's see if we can't uh, prevent some crime.